Apple's latest iOS 11 is a massive update, whether you like to admit or not. Granted, it's not an iOS 7-like upgrade, but the operating system introduces a number of granular controls, not to forget those awesome changes that it has brought to the camera. But, it's not the iOS 11 camera that we are talking about today, it's the annoying prompts from multiple apps that ask you for ratings every now and then. With iOS 11, you can now get rid of them once and for all. How to disable app ratings requests in iOS 11 There are some obvious misses. When we talk about iOS 11, removing the app switcher gesture and the weird feature of not turning off Bluetooth, when we disable it from the control center are at the top of my list of hourly annoyances, or even more frequent. But, the Cupertino tech giant is obviously still tweaking its latest version of mobile operating system, promising that some of these annoyances will be fixed with iOS 11.x updates which is why it's probably more fruitful to talk less about what's not there, but will be fixed, and more about the amazing new controls that the company has brought to the front. Little things count, after all. In today's guide, we will focus on a very simple toggle that allows you to force app developers to stop demanding you for ratings. While it is a good thing to drop a reviewer rating to let your fellow users know if a game or an app is actually good, the prompts always come at the wrong time, right when you are rushing through that email or running through a game to get some gold. The process is very simple, with Apple having introduced a toggle that promises to free you from feeling guilty when you have to go um, maybe later, to resume what you are actually doing. Head over to Settings tap on iTunes App Store toggle the in ratings review option off by the way, if you don't completely hate the reviewing process, iOS 11 will still help you if you stay the good app user and leave the above toggle on. Apparently, Apple is now forcing developers to limit app review requests for just three times a year. But since that still comes up to a lot considering how many apps all of us have, you can head over to the App Store to drop a review.